Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. You can support this channel at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Nothing is too big or too small. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Hawk and the Good. His channel is for MGTOW men looking for philosophy and purpose in today's soy society. The number one question guys ask me is how do I find meaning and purpose in life? And Hawken has you covered with politics and current affairs, mixed in from a male perspective. Visit his YouTube channel and see for yourself. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, we've got a happy man with his firstborn. It seems that God works in mysterious ways and so does Ray Ray. Maybe she just ate too much dark chocolate one day during the pregnancy. Then again, I wonder if she knows that he cheated on her with a black girl. Someone actually pointed out that neither of these are actually the parents of the kid. I still think that a Tyronosaurus Ray Ray Rex got to her first. Moving on is probably one of the reasons why women live longer than men. Far too often they disrupt our sleep cycles, and this lack of rest causes inflammation and encourages diseases in our bodies. They get off on watching men suffer, so why wouldn't they make it so that you can't get a good night's rest? But if you disturb their sleep, there's hell to pay. This type of woman lacks empathy and is a narcissist. Why would any sane man live with that? Number three, we have a cat lady on the left and a whore cat on the right. Actually, the woman in the meme is actually a chameleon because the background is filled with tools and the cat shirt to signify that she's either working in heavy machines or that she supports men that do. The work boots and jeans with worn knees also signify that. Men want to be with a woman that understands them and it's women like this that exploit such a male weakness. Up next, ask the question, which ASS do you prefer? Remember, one can ruin your life by giving you a disease, divorcing you, or by filing a false allegation. The other one can carry elk or deer down the mountain on its back during hunting season and literally works for peanuts. Also, let's not forget that the mule on the right will give you unconditional love and be loyal. The one on the left wears pants that look like a bunch of balloons in a Ziploc bag. Number five, we have a Christian corn on the comp star that says that God put her on earth to enjoy bedroom pleasures. I think we can all see where she keeps her pocket Bible. Christianity is social technology and it's losing the battle against lonely fans. This woman just wants a Christian man because odds are he's less experienced with women and therefore is way more likely to bond with her regardless of how used up she is. Moving on, the scourge of single mothers continues. This woman blew you off back in the day instead of blowing you, if you know what I mean. Now she's used up with kids and needs attention. She just wants you to know that you've always been in her heart and mind. Blah, blah, blah. But a woman like this is for the streets and not for the sheets. Remember, she wants half your net worth or more for her five bastard babies from five different fathers. But my serious question is, why does it look like she has no ankle joints? Number seven is Cordley Ryan saying that by 2030, 45% of women will be single and childless. I guess it's time to invest in cat food and vibrators. This is a lie, though, because you know that most women are never really single. Childless, yes, but they usually have a guy or for emotional or financial support. In Canada, the government controls the liquor stores, so they'll be the ones profiting off this big problem, selling boxed wine to women winos. Up next, keeping up with the theme of used-up women coming out of the woodwork, Pam is bald, and now she has five babies with Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, and Tyrone. But just because she said no to you taking her out to prom ten years ago, doesn't mean that she didn't like you. The real question is why did she end up having a white baby? Must have been an albino or Chad's genes were the dominant ones. Moving on, we have Hallie, not too bright Barry. Paying child support to a man she says calls her the N-word. She lost in court, so she's just saying that because she's probably playing the racism card. It's great when we see gold-digging Chad's for a change. Look how happy she is with them in the picture on the left. He has those sneaky Timothy Dalton Bond eyes that say I'm only sleeping with you for state secrets or to steal something from you. And that's exactly what he did. For her, when everything else fails, she cries racism. Number 10, we have a newly divorced female bragging about her great credit and not having any debts, even though she's a single mother with two kids and three pets. Not much room left in her life for you. She wants to swap crazy dating stories, even though she's single for the first time in 15 years. But she thinks that having good financials is going to attract a man the way that a man having resources might attract a woman. This just shows you this woman is stupid and doesn't understand that men and women want different things. Number 11 is a guy named Mookie, now engaged because he said yes. But only now can he finally post a picture of the two of them on his social media. 
He's the type of guy that looks like he doesn't have any masculine male friends or a father in his life. Otherwise, he would have had some self-respect. She's below his sexual marketplace value and she's still bossing him around now. Just imagine what things are going to be like when they live together as emotional punching bag and wife. Up next, a woman asked the question, would you spend a night with her or a PS5? I already have a PS5, but I'll gladly take another. I'll just sell it. Hell, I'll even take a GameCube or N64 over the whore. Women always ask this sort of question, wanting men to pick them, but when men take the other option, they just mute the guy like this woman did here. Number 13 is Amber Turd looking for attention and sympathy as she's now a Spanish single mother. I guess it looks like a healthy dose of accountability will cripple a woman after losing the Johnny Depp trial. Maybe the part of Spain that she's living in is like Shat Francisco, and she just uses the crutches to lift her legs over the poop. But it doesn't matter where she lives, she's going to bring her literal shitstorm wherever she goes. Moving on, who would you choose? The Miss Universe or the McDonald's worker? I would pick the third option, which is solitude. If you twisted my arm, I would have to pick the McDonald's worker, because at least you know she comes with a side order of fries and coke. But that wouldn't be free food exactly, because you'd be expected to pay the abusive nagging toll. Hopefully Miss Universe is in trance. Sure looks like it, though. Number 15, speaking of being a male in disguise, looks like one trans woman with a neo-vagina now has poop popping out of it. She says that she was getting saucy with a pencil and suddenly there was a sharp pain and she assumed that it was like her hymen breaking. Now no man will probably want her again because he won't want to pack her fudge from both the front and the back. The neo-vagina is designed to get liquid from the intestines, so the fecal leaking is a feature and not to be unexpected. Up next, when I was growing up, I would notice that my pillows and bed sheets were turning yellow, and my mother thought I was pissing the bed. Meanwhile, it's just sebum, an oily substance designed to coat the skin surface to moisten it and protect it from drying out. Androgens like testosterone make it, and it started back when I started working out. This is perfectly normal, just wrap your pillow in multiple pillowcases, so the pillow itself doesn't discolor. Number 17, we have a woman that's no longer looking for looks in men. She says now she's looking for maturity, stability, loyalty, and peace. I.e. a successful man that can bond with her and take the responsibility of providing for her. Some guy responds by saying, if only you had this mindset before you became a single mother. But it's only once the baby arrives that the tune begins to change. Clearly the baby daddy didn't go for looks either. Moving on are a bunch of women asking the question, why do you see more women than men traveling? Chauncey says because of child support money. But the reason you see women traveling is because the men are usually the ones behind the camera, taking the pictures, and women are in front of the camera, blocking the view of the tourist destination. Let's also not forget that more women than men are in debt these days, and credit cards provide much of that travel funding. Number 19 is Lois Lane wondering if Superman really is the best that she can get. There must be another Kryptonian chat out there in the universe. Women always wonder if there's someone better, even if they're with the best man that they can get. Up next is Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas, getting divorced. She's in her early to mid-twenties and feels that she missed her best carousel riding years by getting married and having a family. Now she wants to live out all of the experiences that she never had a chance to do. She also has two daughters. I guess it's also probably time to start making them hate the daddy and want to be transitioned to boys. Number 21 is a delusional fatty that says she can't go to the mall anymore because everyone thinks that she's Taylor Swift. If anything, it looks like she ate Taylor Swift. Either that or she's a post-ball Taylor Swift. But seriously, it makes me wonder if everyone is drunk at the mall to begin with. But I do think she looks like Taylor Swift just 10 years and 50 pounds ago. Moving on, we have a woman that's a breastfeeding DJ. I feel bad for the kids' eardrums. Tonight is by the age of 10, no doubt. This is child abuse. What she's really doing is saying that her DJ skills suck, so she needs a gimmick to have people hire her. This woman wants attention, but she can't afford daycare, so she's bringing her kid to work because otherwise, she'd probably be on welfare. Number 23, we have a woman trying to explain to her three kids that they all have three different daddies. Clearly, clearly they're too young to understand what's going on here. Maybe she's telling them that she was just exploring her options. Well, we need to at least look on the bright side that she's not a coal burner. In the end, she's probably going to tell them that she was made for the streets. Up next is a woman that's 25 and hit the wall, and is wondering why she didn't settle down in her early 20s instead of racking up a body count of 143. She says that she should have married the ugly guy in school instead. 
I call BS on this story and it sounds like something an incel might write trying to create propaganda so girls will date him. It's just his cope. If this isn't a parody, I would be very surprised. No 25-year-old woman would say she hit the wall or even share her actual body counts. Number 25 in this week's last one is a woman that once upon a time did naughty things to Iraqi soldiers in the early 2000s. I remember these photos back then when they came out, but there was something different about the woman, and someone also mentioned that this is a different woman, and it has to be the Mandela effect. I remember her not having a smile like that, and I remember her being much older. She also seemed much shorter and didn't look as strong. She tortured the men there, and I just want to know if anyone else remembers her differently too. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm so that new viewers can find it. Also remember, I make these for free, so donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.